Hey, what's up, fam? It's your man, Daryl the second. Um, I, I am busy and I'm trying to stay focused, but I just seem to keep get distracted. But I wanted to share something real quick uh, for anybody out there. Let me pray first. God, I pray this message is what you want to be said. And I thank you for uh, the courage to have done what I'm about to talk about. And so I pray you get the glory out of this message in Jesus name. Amen. I just want to say, take a leap of faith, take a risk. Um, there are some of us out there who we know in our heart of hearts, there are things that we desire to do, but the thing that's preventing us from doing it is fear, worry, not knowing what the outcome can be, rejection, whatever it is. And I just want to tell you, um, Joshua 1, 9 says, be bold, be strong, take up courage for the Lord thy God is with thee. Do not be afraid. Do not be dismayed. And then he repeats himself and says it again. I said, be bold, be strong. And um, there's another verse in the book of Judges where there was a, a man of God who God had called to liberate the people of Israel from their enemies. His name was Gideon. And he found it unlikely that God would call upon him. And given the circumstances, he was even questioning God, where is the God of our ancestors? We heard all these miracles and things. Look what's happening to us. And um, what ended up happening was the angel of the Lord, who we know is, the, is Jesus beforehand in the Old Testament, but he doesn't go by that name. He said to him, hey, mighty man of valor. And Gideon's like, mighty man of valor? What are you talking about? Look at what we, the situation we're in. How can I be? Look at all this. And when he was telling him that God would use him to help liberate the people, he was questioning this because it just seemed highly unlikely given the circumstances. But he asked God for a test. He said, if this is really true, then I ask you, when I put this fleece out, let it wet do on the fleece tomorrow and everything else be dry. So the next day, that's what happened. And then Gideon said to God again, Lord, listen, I don't want to be, forgive me, no disrespect. I need one more test. Can you please, this time tonight, let the dew hit everything except the fleece. God did that. So he knew without a doubt God was calling him to the task that he was commissioned. And there was still some fear, but God honored his request. And I can say in my life at different points, and even recently, um, there were things in my heart that I desired to do. And I was dealing with fear, fear of, of rejection, fear of what have you from previous situations in life and just worry. And I just had to realize that I had to take a leap of faith. And I said, God, please give me the courage to do this. Please give me the strength to do this. Uh, I, I might even say I come against fear, but I know I humbled myself before the Lord and asked for his help. And he helped me do it. And so I want to encourage you today, whatever it is God is telling you to do, maybe there's a bridge that you have to cross, but you're afraid, call on the name of the Lord, ask him to help you with the task and he'll give you the strength. And if you're not, if you're not sure if it's for you or not, ask him to confirm whether that's for you or not. And he will in some way, shape or form, he'll allow you to recognize in some way. Yes, I'm calling you to do this. Yes, this is a blessing, but you got to take a leap of faith because the Bible talks about faith without works is dead. If you don't put your faith in action, how can you expect certain things to occur? God is like, listen, I've made the provision, but I'm waiting on you to respond to what I've done. Do you trust me enough that even though physically you don't see what you desire, like, you know, because faith is invisible, you trust the outcome will manifest. I mean, Abraham, when God said, come to a land in which I will show you, he didn't even know the land yet. He had no idea where he was going, but he knew he was following this invisible God and God made true on his promise. And it's the same for you. God has promises for you, but he's waiting on you to trust him with faith and go forward. So don't waste your life. Go forward and watch him provide and do amazing things in your life. So that's all I really want to say, um, because a lot of us have fear in our hearts. And I just want to say, speak against that spirit. The Bible says perfect love cast out fear. The Bible also says, be bold, be strong, take up courage for the Lord thy God is with thee. Do not be afraid. Do not be dismayed. And the Bible also says, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but he has given us a spirit of power, of love, and of a sound mind. So be bold and be courageous and do that thing that God has called you to do. Well, before I close, if there's anybody watching and you don't have a relationship with God the Father, the only way you can have one is through his son, Jesus Christ. This comes through a confession of faith and a belief in your heart that Jesus is Lord, that he died on the cross, and that God the Father raised him back from the dead. And if you believe this in your heart, you confess it with your mouth, then his spirit will come into your heart and you will be saved from the penalty of your sins, adopted in the family of God, and you will become a child of God, not because of your works, but because of your faith that you placed in Jesus. Now, moments ago, I was talking about faith without works is dead. That's a different application of faith. But in this aspect, I guess the work would be putting your faith in Jesus. I don't know, but I would say if you put your faith in Jesus, you're saved by faith. You're saved by grace through faith, not of yourself, lest you be able to boast. So it's not works oriented um, in this aspect where you do works that you get into heaven. No, 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 no. The finished work on the cross that Jesus did when he died and went to hell, took captives, set the captives free, conquered death in the grave, came back to life, placing our faith in him 
it grants us act acceptance in the family of God and it grants us um, a pardon for our sins and we are forgiven. Um, as a Christian, you are in the world, not of the world. So there will be moments where you're attacked and persecuted for the name of Jesus because you bear his name and you carry his spirit. And that anointing, that spirit, when you go places, the devil, people who are dealing with demons, they feel that. But you you overcome by the blood of the lamb, by the word of our testimony. And God has given you the strength, the weaponry and the know-how to overcome the adversities that you will face. So I just want to encourage you today to not allow the enemy to stop you from moving forward and just realize that you're not alone. He says in his word, I will never leave you nor forsake you. And he says, be bold, be strong, take up courage for the Lord thy God is with thee. Do not be afraid. Do not be dismayed. So if you're interested in this journey, because it's important to know Jesus, because then you die, if you don't have a relationship with him, you're not going to go to heaven. You're going to go to hell. And he does not want that. He gives you a choice. Here it is right now. So just repeat after me and mean this if the, from the heart. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross. I believe God the Father raised you back from the dead. Please come into my heart and be my Lord and my Savior. If you did that, his spirit is in your heart. Your name is in the book of life. There are angels celebrating in heaven because you've crossed over from death to life. And the next step would be to get into a Bible-based church and watch God transform your life because he's got an amazing thing in store for you. Um, I think that's all I got. Um, my name is Daryl All the Second. I'm on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. Oh, and I just wrote a new book. I just published a new book on Amazon. It's called Random Thoughts of a Believer. Uh, when I get my shipment in, you'll see me holding them up in the camera. But you can go on Amazon and check it out. I think it'll really bless you. I have a couple books on Amazon, actually. I wrote one years ago as well called God and His Men, colon, A Spiritual Enrichment Plan. That was my book I wrote years ago. But my most recent book, Random Thoughts of a Believer. And you can just go on Amazon and put in my name and you'll find it. Daryl Alder II. God bless you. Much love. Peace.